All right, guys, obviously I'm not just going to hit my caravan with a hammer. There are too many variables. You guys are going to be saying I'm pulling swings or something. So I've rigged up the system. I've got a 14 pound hammer here on a hinge. I'm going to be pulling it back set distance of 50 mil, 100, 150, 200, 300, 400, and even 500 mil to see what damage this hammer does. To keep the test interesting, I've also got some sheet metal here, which is what plays it outside of all the old looking caravans. Typically the sheet will be fixed like this, next one above, next one above. To keep the test fair, I'm going to be putting the sheet metal in the exact same position. We'll be testing the exact same 50, 100, 150, 200, 300, 400, and even 500 mil drop. And we'll see what damage it does to this and the fiberglass. It's going to be a really interesting test. It's worth saying that with this sheet metal, I'm going to be hitting the hammer on the outside of this ridge, because this ridge sticks out the furthest and is likely to be the first thing that gets hit. All right, let's get it started. 50 mil. Absolutely nothing there. I'm not even going to bother inspecting. 100 mil. Nothing there. Pretty well what I expected so far. 150 mil. Nothing beyond some light marks, which would just rub out. 200 mil. Maybe a very light mark, something would buck out with just a bit of polish. And that's quite a way, that's a 200 mil strike. All right, let's go straight to 300 mil. Nothing that I can see with my eye. 400 mil. Now it looks like 400 just started doing some light light dings, I can see one here, here, and here. But that being said, you really have to look for them. All right, I'm gonna to go to 500 now. And if this works well, I'm gonna push it again and go to six. All right, let's do 500. Look, the answer is yes, I can see it, but again, it is just so light and so faint, you'd struggle to find it. If I just said to you, come and have a look at this man, show me where I've hit it with a sledgehammer, I don't think you'd be able to find this. Look, this has gone better than I expected, and now I'm feeling a bit cocky, so I'm thinking let's add one in. Let's go to 600 mil. All right guys, cutting in the middle of the video here. If you like this content, please like it. It helps my channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please click the subscribe button. Let's see how we go, 600 mil. Oh, that's far away. All right, 600 mil, three, two, one. Well, that went everywhere. Again, that left some dents here, here, and here. You can barely see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can barely see them. All right, that's enough fun with this. Let's get the metal out and see how that handles. Okay, 50 mil. Pretty much what I expected. It actually did scratch through the paint and, and has given it a couple of things, but nothing you'd really look at. 100 mil.
again scratched straight through the paint and has given it a dent, but nothing you take too much notice of. All right, 150 mil. I don't know how clear that is to you, but there's definitely two big dents there. If they were the only two dents in the van, you probably wouldn't mind too much. Keep in mind, if you do damage this sheet metal, the entire length from front to the back of the van has to be replaced, where if you damage the fiberglass, you can actually just spot repair the fiberglass. All right, let's keep going. 200 mil. This has done a fair bit more damage. Getting to the spot here at 200 mil where you'd be looking at replacing a sheet, I think. 300 mil. Long way. There's no denying there's dents in this, and you'd be able to pick it up straight away. As we go along, keep in mind the fiberglass, you could barely see the dents the entire way along and all we're doing is perpetually getting worse in this. All right, let's keep going, let's see 400. 400 mil. Yeah, so 400's done absolute bucket load of damage. You'd be looking at replacing the full sheet front to back on the van. All right, let's go 500. I don't know if we're going to get a 600. Depends how much damage this does. Here we go. 500 mil. That bounced around a lot. It almost hit back on the 400 mark here. It hit here, it hit almost back on the 400, and then hit here at the 600 again. Let's push it. Let's see what 600 does for this thing. Keep in mind I'm expecting this to bounce around like it did on the fiberglass at 600. 600, here we go, three, two, one. Look, I think in conclusion, they're both pretty strong surfaces. The fiberglass shows up a lot less. The sheet metal shows a lot more damage. Bear in mind this isn't a perfect test, in actual fact, the sheet metal would have timber here and here and be fixed to the timber there and floating in the middle. So this would potentially do more damage if it were fitted to a van because it wouldn't have this rigid structure behind it. A huge thank you for Dario Caravans and Repairs for letting us use their yard. I wouldn't be able to do any of these videos without them. If you're looking for a snowy river, make sure you pop in and see them. Thanks for watching, bye!